This project started with a 30 inch by nine inch old rough cut piece of wood. You could get one like it though. It's just a live edge board. Anything that looks like it could actually have been carved. Then I made castings of the Santa sleigh mold from the new IOD release. Laid it out. This is measuring for the piece of um, it's the leather strip for doing jewelry. I was using that as the reins. Didn't have the right color, so this is just a mix of IODs. Oops, sorry, DIY, dark and decrepit, and I think there was a little bit of the chocolate and some water just to thin it out. Stirred it all up in there, and then I just laid it out on this. this um, plastic to dry so that it wouldn't stick because you couldn't lay it on cardboard or it would have stuck to it pulled up pieces anyway now on to painting the base color for the molds I use French putty just to get it down to a neutral to look like the base of the wood these are going to look like they are carved from that board when we're done or that's the goal at least was so excited about this project once I had the idea I couldn't stop thinking about it so I sent my husband on the hunt for that board and he came through with the perfect one didn't want to do just four reindeer singly. I knew there would be a way for me to glue them together so I could have the full eight just sort of stagger and have them. I just thought it looked better. <laughs> Type on quick and thick and I put a good coat on these. The Santa himself in the sleigh, he was easier to have him adhere right away. I think it's just a larger surface. The deer, you know, even though they're resin, they can bend a little bit. Or maybe they needed to bend and they wouldn't. I don't know. But those I had to actually use something to weigh them down heavy and let them sit so that they would stick. Because they had a tendency to want to pop just a little bit. So if you do this, especially my, bo my board was a definite rough cut so it wasn't super flat so this for the reins I didn't want it <clears throat> putting the two in there together to Santa that was just too big for him so there I am I'm just cutting that part so it would look like two reins came into one and they were just smaller for Santa's hands. The first one I used wood glue. Later I switched up my glue and did something else. I just did this so I could figure out that first piece and then I continued to mount all the deer on the top This deer, first deer gave me the most trouble after it got all done. It's the one that actually didn't stick down and I had to use a different kind of glue just to get it to stick. I came back with super glue, which is what I ended up using on the reins to glue those down. So the next step is to come in with a the first coat of glaze. I used Paint Couture's Amber Honey.
There's so many details, so you have to like pounce down in to get it all settled into all the d- spots so that it'll have that design show up. Then I end up mixing colors a little bit, as you'll see. I was going to go over the base, all the the wood in the background with the same color, but then because it was a dry piece of wood, it was absorbing a lot, so I stopped doing that. During this process is where you see all those designs, details in those molds show up. So the next coat we add is, or color we add, is Van Dyke Brown. I wanted the deer to get a little darker right away. And I stayed away from the antlers because I wanted those to obviously stay light. And here, what I did is I did like a pouncing motion with that little brush. I thought it started to look almost like a burled wood, which I thought was pretty neat. So I just continued to just pounce down in there. And then I went back <clears throat> with a little bit of a dry brush to pull some of it back again too. It was just a little bit of back and forth. You just have to play and then you come up with the look you really like. So I decided to put a clear coat on the backboard so that when I added glaze to it, it wouldn't absorb in and make the whole thing so dark and not let those the carving part stand out. I used just a clear glazing base. I think you could have used any top coat. I just did this knowing I would get a, basically the same sheen and then I let it dry overnight. So now I'm gluing down the rest, actually measuring each little one in between the deer and tucking them down in and gluing them down to the backboard. For this, I used super glue. And this is also when I found out the one deer was a little bit loose. So I went ahead and got that off and used super glue to glue it down. I just want to take a minute here to thank you all for watching this video. If you like the project, all the products are available on our website, which is antbeesattic.com. We'll have links below. And if you could comment on this video and or share it with friends, we'd really appreciate it.
Now we're going back in with that Van Dyke Brown to darken it up. It just needed the, the base to actually dry because the colors were blending together a little too much. So by letting it dry, it lets you get this color on and then you can wipe back and go back and forth to get the look that you want. I also purposely left some brush marks because I thought they looked a little bit like um, carving lines. Yes, it's a bit tedious if you're trying to get up around and all that stuff to get the back part of the deer in case, you know, something might actually peek around there. So here I used a little bit of the colored glazes. I was trying to darken around the antlers so they would pop a little more. Plus I wanted some color variations a little more in the board itself. But by putting that base coat of clear on, it did help the color not just totally soak into the wood. And here's our finished project. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm not usually this thrilled with some of the things I make, but this one, I absolutely love it. And once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.